Well, up to 30 million jobs could be lost in Africa as a result of the coronavirus. The economic impact of the pandemic on Africa's economy is staggering. According to the African Development Bank, up to 50 million people could be thrust into extreme poverty and stay stuck there for generations. The bank released their African Economic Outlook Supplement and their Director for Macroeconomic Policy and Research, Dr. Hanan Morsi, shared their forecasts with our very own Naledi Maleo. For next year, what we, what we are um, expecting is that the uh, recovery will be between 2.4% uh, and 3%, depending on uh, which scenario we're in, how contained the virus is. But it's very important to keep in mind that there are high degree of uncertainty uh, and there are risks to this outlook, including a potential um, second outbreak of COVID-19. Uh, the need to, uh, con for continued restrictive measures, um, the impact on commodity prices, uh, and uh, the fear that there would be continued flight to safety in capital markets. Mm -hmm. So all this will shape really how the, uh, you know, the, the uh, outlook for next year will end up. But what we expect is basically for, the, for next year, uh, to uh, for the certain sectors to start recovering faster than others. So basically, it's a partial recovery with uh, sectors like, for example, um, uh, transportation, tourism, entertainment, to uh, take longer time to recover. Mm. Uh, and that's why we have kind of this, uh, um, you know, outlook of just um, three percent coming from, um, you know. Uh, strong recession this year that the continent has not seen for three decades. Hmm. Um, the, you talk about the uncertainty that all of our economies are facing. Um, one of those has been the question around when is the right time to open up the economy and there's, you know, the incremental opening up. Um, I want to talk about the, the, the economic impact of not making that decision to open quickly enough. So the, the implications from a jobs point of view, from um, all the way to the poverty levels on the continent, if we're unable to get our economy back on the, on the roll? Uh, for us, one of the concerns that we have in terms of the impact of COVID-19 is the impact that it can have in terms of reversing hard earned gains for the continent over the last uh, few decades both in terms of meeting sustainable development goals, as well as in terms of uh, job creation and reducing extreme poverty. So we, we estimate that between 25 to 30 million people are projected to lose their jobs as a result of the pandemic. Uh, and this can have actually scarring effect, especially for uh, new entrants to the labor market, for youth, for vulnerable groups, um, so this can affect, uh, for the well-being of these uh, groups, uh, can affect, uh, you know, generations to come. Mm. 